everyone, this is Donald the Repentless with a quick update. Today is a nice spring day here in Idaho and I got the door open to get some, some air in here. Um, I, things are going a little better. I mean, I got a schedule for the next upcoming weeks. Um, I get paid tonight and I get, I'll get two paychecks next week, next month, next month, next week. But Anyways, um, I guess, like I said in the last denture update, the saga, um, and it's not going to be a denture saga one, it's going to be just a general update. But as I said last time, I have an appointment for the 19th to have my remaining 19 teeth pulled out. Um, and I'm working. You know, I mean, I, I may need a few days off for when they, after they pull my teeth so I can recover a little bit. But things are looking up. Um, I'm still disappointed that I, I got rejected for disability. And I'm still waiting to hear back from my attorney because I've, I've left him messages to, to call me back. Um, it may be a case that he just hasn't gotten the decision yet. Or hasn't had time to go over it because he needs to because I need to have this um, explained to me because I mean it's a I don't have it right on me but wait a second let me just do a quick jump cut and I'll have the um, report and I'll show it to you how long it is and and why it's it's all full of legalese but uh, but quick jump cut and I'll show you what I'm talking hi I'm back um, it's actually three different things, but look at this. The, the letter that came with it, this is just two pages, both sides. Um, here's the decision itself, 14 pages on, on both sides of this. And then there's the, the exhibits that were put in during the hearing. And like I said, I mean, it's just the lengthy jumble of words that you know I'd have to have it explained to me because a lot of it is in legal jargon that I don't quite understand um, but like I said hopefully in, the, in next week or this week um, my lawyer will get a hold of me and explain to me um, why I was denied in more detail than I have right now um, what else is going on uh, I can't think of anything right now, but I just want to make this brief um, update. You know, keep making videos, you know, that kind of thing, and get myself into this habit, you know, because doing something like this is a, has to be a habit until um, I start getting numbers in terms of subscribers and in terms of views. But I hope I'm, I hope I'm getting better at not sounding like a total idiot and that I, my presentation is more fluid and comes off as more natural than it does in my earlier videos but anyways work i'm going to work some yeah Ugh. and hopefully my body will be able to keep up <laughs> let's be honest because I don't know. I I prefer working if I can. You know, it's not like I don't like working. I do like working. I mean, um, but certain jobs just aren't suited for me, or I'm not suited for those jobs. I used to be a customer service representative for uh, Convergys, and I did that job for four and a half years. And although I, I think I did pretty good at that job, um, my temperament as I'm getting older just makes that kind of work for me oh, problematic. I don't think I have the patience that I used to have when I did work for for Convergys. And the fact, mere fact that I've done Regis and inventory in general um, for 15 years out of the last like 20 or so that I've had that I worked. 
um, is a sign that I actually like Jeff because, because it's a fascinating industry. I, like I said in in an earlier video, that I, I do find the whole industry just interesting. The equipment, the technology, um, everything about it. That's why I why I do the the life of an inventory auditor series, and I, I intend to do more um, of that of that, including maybe some more on the RM2, maybe some um, stuff on the history of Regis, the history of you know. The funny thing is, I think I mentioned this too, is that. It's harder to find a history of Wiss than it is for, for Regis, but the main things on Regis's history are from the, their website. And it's interesting. I keep saying it's history, okay? Because I do find that interesting. Um, the history of the company, how it started, um, how it progressed, you know, the, the introduction of the audits. And the introduction of the RM ones and now the RM twos. Although I've heard, I heard this when I was working at J.C. Penney's last time I worked, that they're not sending out any more RM twos because of problems that they're currently having with RM twos. And well, yeah, I remember when when I came back to Regis. And this isn't going to be a really a a life on inventory or other either. It's just going to be a general update. But I remember when I came back to Regis in 2008, they had just start transition. They started the transition between the audits and the RM ones because the uh, because of software differences between the two. They you had to use one or the other. So in some stores we would use the audits, and some stores we would use the um, RM1s. What's interesting about the RM2 is that the software of the RM2 and the RM1 are compatible with one another so we have stores where both are being used and this will probably continue until they, they work out the bugs with the RM2s and because they did have a lot of bugs with the RM1 at the beginning. There was quite a few problems with it but through software patches or whatever they did, they were able to fairly quickly resolve all the issues with the RM1, and it became a very stable and utilitarian device to use when taking inventories. That's one of the things I like about the RM1, is the fact that they didn't like throw the baby out of the bathwater. The keyboard structure was a little bit different than the Audis, but it still had the basic 10 key design. The problem with the RM2, um, they have changed the, the keyboard again. They made it a little smaller than it was. And the buttons are so close together that it's so easy to fat key. And, and my problem with 10 key, when I do have problems, is I do t tend to fat key keys. And, which means that you end up hitting buttons that you don't intend to, to hit. And all that, but you know, it's kind of interesting that you know they are having these problems. Um, I think there's probably fixes for every problem that that's, that have been mentioned by people who use the device, and those fixes will come about, and the RM2 will become will become as people become become used to it. Will probably might might not have the same level of loyalty as the RM1s have, but it's certainly not the absolute disaster that I've heard it made out to be. So, actually I will make this, I mean, this rambling long and and all that, but I guess I will make this a, a life of an inventory auditor with some updates in it. Because that's the main thing I've talked about is Regis and the RM1 and the RM2 and the this and the that. So, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going on 10 minutes now with this video between the two um, segments that I've, I've recorded. So I will end it here. Probably should have ended a few minutes ago, but that's life. So if you like this video, 
thumbs up for this video, share it on social media, and especially subscribe to my channel. So I've, oh, I hit 10, I finally hit 10 view, 10 subscribers. So I want to continue this, well, it's a slow build up. I kind of knew it would be because um, other YouTubers, I've, I, you see I'm rambling again, but other YouTubers I've seen have had this slow build up to where they are now worth, where they have hundreds of thousands or millions of subscribers. But anyways, I, I, I'm just being talkative for some reason. Who cares, right? But anyways, if you like this video, thumbs up it, subscribe, share it, comment on this video, um, especially if you're someone who does work in the industry, the inventory industry. I like hearing war stories. I like hearing people's experience with with inventory, whether it's good or bad, because taking inventory is not a job for everyone. Um, some people will hate it. Um, some people will love it. Some people will go, eh. But anyways, now that I got another way, I'm not going to say the whole YouTube stuff again, but this is Donald Repentless signing off. And be awesome, everyone.